It was the moment which cost Andrew Mitchell his government job. Tonight, this programme can reveal CCTV footage of the exchange between Mr Mitchell and Downing Street Police, during which he's accused of calling them plebs. He's repeatedly denied saying anything such, any such thing. It raises serious questions about the police log of the incident, which was leaked to the media. So has the former chief whip been the victim of a grave injustice? Our political correspondent, Michael Crick, is with us now. Michael, here are the CT CCTV pictures. There is Andrew Mitchell at the gate. Take that's, us through them. That's right. Well, these are CCTV pictures that have been released by the Cabinet Office and verified by them as genuine. This is the first shot taken from Downing Street. We see over here on the left Andrew Mitchell coming out on his bicycle from number nine Downing Street, cycling down to the gates of Downing Street. Um, and there he stops and says to the uh, police officers, uh, Can you please open the gates to let me cycle through? Now, it's agreed that they said, no, we can't do that, it's against the rules, you'll have to go round by the side gate. Whereupon Andrew Mitchell uh, said, look, I've been, uh, managed to cycle out through these gates several times uh, in the past, including several times today, and they have a discussion. And both sides admit that at that point, uh, the conversation was reasonably amicable. So this is the sort of scene-setter picture. Interesting, if you look through the gates... You don't see anybody on the other side of the gate, really. Pedestrians on Whitehall looking through the gates. That'll become quite an important issue later. Now we see Andrew Mitchell leaving uh, and going round by what, the about side... 20 seconds? After about 20 seconds, yeah. going round by the side gate and wheeling his bicycle round and going through the pedestrian gate. Now, the second... I hope in a moment to show you... This is the second bit of CCZ tip footage. Closer-up shot of the gate... Now, this is the crucial moment where the altercation is said to have taken uh, place. In a moment, we see Andrew Mitchell uh, coming through on his bicycle, wheeling it round. It doesn't take very long at all. There's a policeman with him. He goes through and goes through the gate. Now, Andrew Mitchell says that, that it was in that, this moment that he said, according to his own account, I thought you lot were effing, uh, supposed to effing help us. The police log account... Let's run this one again. The police log account of this is a lot more extensive, and it's here where the angry uh, exchanges or the angry words by Mr Mitchell allegedly took place. According to the police log, he said, best you learn your effing place, you don't run this effing government, you are effing plebs, all within this space here. Now, to me, those pictures do not show, do not suggest Andrew Mitchell making angry phrases like that. We can't be sure, because we can't be sure what he's saying, but one doesn't get the impression he's saying all of that, and also there isn't a great deal of, t of time to say all of that. Now, We're the jolly third, short of witnesses here. Uh, we are, and that's where it gets very interesting. See, nobody really behind the railings there. Now, if we go to the third clip of CCTV footage, this is taken from the wall of the Foreign Office here, looking down on the entrance to Downing Street at the moment where all of this is going on inside. Now, according to the police log leaked to the Daily Telegraph, there were several members of the public present opposite the pedestrian gate. The members of the public looked visibly shocked. Well, where are these members of the public? There's one man here, we see, who wanders up and takes a look um, and in a moment wanders back again. But uh, whether he's visibly shocked, I can't say, because he's been blobbed for uh, uh, privacy reasons. But certainly it doesn't look like uh, what it says in the police log, that uh, there were several members of the public present. Really, I mean... Uh, Doesn't it mention children? Uh, no, it doesn't. Uh, not, not that I'm aware uh, mentions children. But really, it, it, it's pretty much deserted. Not like it is during the day, or like it was today uh, with the Queen. Now, so these are... This is seen for the first time in public. Uh, it's been seen privately in government for, for many months now. But it does seem to undermine the police version of events as uh, set out in the police log that was leaked to the Daily Telegraph. Well, now we've got this critical question of the eyewitness, who wasn't there. Well, that is uh, an extraordinary story. What happened was, the night after the incident in Downing Street, on the Thursday, the 20th of September, a man uh, sent an email from his home in, in Risliff, in north-west London, to John Randall, who uh, was the deputy chief whip... Uh, to, uh, and, and his MP, the Deputy Chief Whip, to Andrew Mitchell. I think that's a coincidence that he should have held that position, although it has to be said that John Randall and Andrew Mitchell are not the best of friends, and maybe John Randall would have liked to have been uh, Chief Whip rather than, uh, than Mr Mitchell. But I do think that is a coincidence. But in this email... Uh, the, Which the, looked as if it came from an ordinary member of the general public. It looked as if it came from an ordinary member of the public. 
The, the, the eyewitness, the man claims he was an eyewitness, that he saw the events in Downing Street, that he was standing there with his nephew, well, no sign of a man and his nephew uh, mm. in the pictures we've seen, and he relates a whole series of events very similar, almost word for word, with the log that appears in the Daily Telegraph. Well, you can imagine receiving that email uh, in the Whip's office, it was passed to Downing Street, there was consternation. And indeed, on the day that the Telegraph log came out, the Tuesday morning, uh, David Cameron rang Andrew Mitchell at home and effectively said, we've got you banged to rights. Not so much because of the, the Telegraph log, but because of this uh, email from the man in Ryslip he'd written to John Randall. Andrew Mitchell said, no, 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 look, it, it's all wrong, it's totally untrue. And rather than uh, and, uh, David Cameron sack Andrew Mitchell, David Cameron instituted an inquiry under the Cabinet Secretary, Sir Jeremy Haywood. Uh, that lasted a couple of days, and the inquiry was to look into the whole affair and in particular to look into this, this email from the man in Ryslip to see whether it was genuine. And John, John Randall was even sent round to the man in Ryslip's home uh, to check it, check it up and didn't get very far. The amazing thing was they found out very, very little about that man's background. On Sunday night, two nights ago, the Prime Minister was told that the man who wrote that email was a serving police officer. David Cameron was absolutely furious that this email had been around for three months. It had, had, it had made him, at one point, think maybe, you know, Mitchell was not telling the truth. Uh, he didn't keep that view for very long. Uh, but it's fascinating to speculate as to what effect that email to John Randall had on uh, the whole saga and whether it played a role in uh, Andrew Mitchell's downfall. Jack John Randall was one of those people who, behind the scenes, was uh, saying that, that Andrew Mitchell uh, had to resign, although he, he denies that the email had any influence on, in, in his views uh, on uh, that matter. Do we have any sense of, of, of what's happened now? Because a policeman has been arrested. Yes, at the, uh, at the weekend, following what's happened is that it, d dispatches uh, and Channel 4 have been investigating this story. I've been working on it now for a, a week or so, other people for longer than that. And I think as a result of our inquiries, and Andrew, Andrew Mitchell himself kicking up a fuss, it seems that the uh, Cabinet Office or on Downing Street released to the Metropolitan Police, sent to the Metropolitan Police, that email from the man in uh, Ryslip to John Randall, and a, and a, and a, and a policeman uh, was arrested uh, over the weekend, as, as we know. So what are, what are Downing Street saying tonight? Well, they are taking this very, very seriously indeed. A statement was issued to us uh, from Downing Street this evening any allegations that a serving police officer posed as a member of the public and fabricated evidence against a cabinet minister are exceptionally serious. It's therefore essential that the police get to the bottom of this as a matter of urgency. We welcome Bernard Hogan Howe's commitment, he's the Metropolitan Chief Commissioner, uh, to uh, achieve that aim. Michael, Andrew, sorry. Michael Crick, uh, we will come back to you later in the programme because we have reaction from Andrew Mitchell later in the programme, but for now, thank you very much.